Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is make an add on instruction and we're going to use the emulated, uh, some of the emulated uh, IO that we used. So again, uh, some of this uh, emulated code that we used over here, uh, emulated IO. So, um, and uh, sorry for the delay on, you know, I had to respond to a couple people that apparently don't like uh, the videos that I make. So thank you for watching them though. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the support, even though you didn't like videos I made two years ago. But um, anyway, so this is why I want you guys feedback. Leave me feedback on what you want to see and I'll be glad to make it. I'll be glad to help out. I mean, I'm doing what I can to help. So uh, again, here to help you. No, I mean, so that's what we're doing. Needless to say, let's get that uh, little rant out of the way and let's start this add on instruction. Um, so real quick, <clears throat> can you make an add on instruction with when you're online? No. Um, not on version, not on the version we're currently running. I don't believe on any version, but I'll, I don't want to quote myself on that. But, uh, so anyway, you go offline, you're going to get a new add on instruction. Um, basically we're going to, uh, anyway, sorry, I must have hit the wrong button. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're going to, uh, basically, uh, make a, uh, conveyor start. And I know I've done this one in the past. Um, so therefore, if you've seen it, um, sorry, but we're just going to add some IO to it. So conveyor start our conveyor. Uh, let's just call this conveyor control. And we're going to call this version one. Of course, it's written by me, vendored by me, right? Um, I'm also going to do a lot of new um, add-on instructions coming in the future. Um, I did a pulse width modulation um, uh, add-on instruction for somebody I'm working with. And uh, I think it would be really cool to start doing custom add-on instructions for those who are interested uh, in showing them on YouTube. So uh, anyway. Okay, so in parameters, understand that in your parameters you have uh, input and outputs are the parameters. Your local tags are going to be everything used internally inside the, the code itself. So um, therefore, if you have tags that don't need to be passed in and out, they'll be used in the local tag section. Um, the parameters um, basically will have a start and we'll have this in input. We'll put the data type. Data type is very important. Uh, we're going to have the data type as a bool. Uh, so start, uh, we'll call this uh, PP. Nah, you know, keep it simple, right? Also, uh, scroll over here and you'll notice it says is required. Yes, and visible. So we want to make it visible so that you can see it when you use it. If not, you're going to come back and have to edit that. So we want to stop, uh, push button, again, input, right? And uh, call this a bull as well because we all know that uh, we're going to use an input. Okay, so then we're going to have um, conveyor uh, start. All right, let's just say conveyor run. Yeah. Let's just say conveyor run. I mean, this is going to be a bool as well. Uh, this is going to be an output. Uh, notice that you can change over here for your usage. You can change input parameter, output parameter, or input output, whatever you want it. Um, in this case, you have default values that you can put these as. I always, it depends. I mean, I've used these in different manners. It depends on what you're building. In this case, we're going to leave them as zeros because we don't want to start anything with, um, you know, not needing to hit apply at that point. Um, then that's going to be your basically very simple stuff. Inputs, outputs, um, it's a very, very simple code we're going to do. Um, then we're going to come in here and we're going to put a timer. So uh, we'll put uh, start timer. And then obviously this is a timer. So we want to make sure that we put that as a timer. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to have a start timer and then basically that's that's basically it. Um, we can come back and add stuff if we want to later. But again, it's really, really simple code. I just want to illustrate using the um, 
simulated IO. Uh, you can put a signature on it too if you wanted to, and that basically grays it out, but we'll do that in just a second. So let's yeah, let's load that. So now we have our tags, we have our stuff in here that we want. Um, basically, you come in here and you'll come in here and, and now you have your tags. Uh, again, they're all going to be, no matter if you made it in parameters or you made it in um, uh, local tags, then basically they're all going to be in here, so, right? So we want the start push button first. We're going to come in here and we're going to throw in the stop push button. And actually, let's do this. Stop push button. Stop push button. Actually, let's let's keep that like that and let's say the timer we're going to use for our timer right and let's just say uh, let's keep it at two point yeah two and a half seconds that's cool all right so <clears throat> then what we want to do is to we can we can seal this in if we wanted to um, but honestly, well, we have to make a new tag. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's let's make a new tag. Let's add a new tag. Um, so properties, we'll go to local tag, and then we'll make a new one that says uh, can let's see, conveyor on, and this is just going to be a local tag. So uh. And you know we can name the naming culture could be a little different. So we'll add a new rung, and we'll bring the start timer down here. We'll come in, and the reason I'm adding this is because I want to have another, um, basically a conveyor on, so I can have a seal in right here, kind of like a latch in, latch, you know, type situation. So therefore. If the start button push button is pressed momentarily, it latches in, and if the stop button stop button is pressed, it drops out. Therefore, if we have the conveyor on, we want to have our, you know, uh, basically our timer time out before everything happens. So let's add the new rung, and let's say, okay, the timer is actually on, and the timer is done. So at this point, we want to say done, and we want to come in, and now we'll find our end result, which is going to be conveyor run. Now, let's make this a little bit simpler than this. Let's just say this is like this, and delete this. So it's just basically two rungs. Very, very simple code. Um, actually, you can make it all one rung if you wanted to. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, Anyway, so uh, yeah, I mean, we can do that. We can actually come in here and and uh, throw that like this, and then come in and do this one more time, and throw this like this, and just have it all in one rung and just be done with it. Um, okay, so now we have our instruction done. Um, what we can do is actually um, come in and use it. So. Again, so let's go ahead and uh, download, see if I did a good job, see if I messed up anything. Again, all these videos are done off the cuff, so I want to show you if I make a mistake, how to fix it. Um, so here we go. Okay, so we're downloading and we're going to go ahead and test this stuff out. Anyway, so I like to make these things off the off the cuff, and again, so therefore you stick into the last of the video, you get all the benefits. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's uh, let's add a new rung. Let's come in and go to our add-on instructions. Let's drag our instruction down. Let's put a name to our conveyor. Let's just call this uh, conveyor one control. All right, conveyor one. The start push button. Okay. Let's make a tag and let's put it as uh, conveyor uh, conveyors. Let's say conveyor start. 
and we'll actually alias this and we're going to alias this to our simulated io right so we're going to go down to our data we're going to go to uh let's use one for this one this is going to be our start and then we're going to come in and have our uh, stop button so let's just say conveyor stop and then we'll do the same thing we'll alias it and then we'll come in and we'll check the next button uh, in this case we're going to keep it real simple we'll just do two okay so that's that and then we're going to actually run it right so let's put uh, conveyor conveyor start conveyor start and let's put an output so let's make this output uh, let's put the output as what we did what we haven't used in the past in the past videos and we're gonna make this one let's just say four that's just for the sake of it okay so now that's done okay so um, let's test it out All right, let's see if it works okay so we're gonna go into our simulation right and we're gonna cut on uh, let's see cut on one and the timer should be timing and then the one starts now if I cut on two it should cut off right so therefore if you see this logic if you actually go in and, and open up the logic you see that the start button is pushed I want you to see the logic working okay so you see I have the start stop push button right now if I hit the start button then it stays latched in it times out it starts running you see the output is cut on if I hit the stop push button it stops okay so you see that the inputs and outputs are working based upon simulating the IO that we have right here in our um, our basically our virtual chassis so uh, we've made an add-on instruction and we have it working currently off of IO that we actually made which is very very helpful when it comes to being able to test an IO so say you made an add-on instruction just like I just did right and had I not actually knew exactly what I was doing again and this is all off the cuff but I could have easily made a mistake so I need to test it anyway right so before I give it to a customer or before I give it to or use it out in the field continuously I want to rigorously like do my due diligence and test it all the time so this would be a great way to do testing on this so again um, we know it works so that's the um, the uh, actual code that, and how I got to the code is just going to uh, instruction logic um, but uh, you also come down here and we can actually go down and simulate it and watch it run again so two and a half seconds and it should start and it did start so we could actually see that right um, so again so what I'd like to know is again your your comments and I'd like to know what you would like to see more of because again we just we just made an add-on instruction made it pretty quick uh, hopefully you stayed around to the end of the video but uh, what I want is to build this channel more and more and to help as many people as I possibly can this is nothing about monetizing anything the courses that I make are just giving me more stuff that I can actually buy to to build a better platform I'm actually I work a day job I mean I'm I'm in the field all the time I'm not this YouTube stuff I'm trying to help people so I'm trying to reach out so the only reason I'm getting into that a little bit is because some of the comments I've been getting lately on older older videos I mean but hey for those who support me hey I really really appreciate it and can like share this and, and try to grow the group and I want your feedback so please provide your feedback if you like this video or not or if you want to see more like it um, again I'm gonna start making a couple more add-on instruction videos I think that's the next next topic I had a couple questions about those so I think that's a good topic to start on maybe like a little mini series anyway let me know your thoughts and again thank you for being part of my channel supporting